Photography Farm Vlog and I'm Patricia. I'm in the forest this morning. It's early morning. It's chilly. It's overcast. It's, it's just a beautiful autumnal morning. Uh, I was looking around and I saw so many varieties of mushrooms and the wild cranberries are ripening and of course there's millions of blueberries. I'm hoping to come back uh, after I settle my sheep and maybe make muffins today. I am, yeah, I'm just determined to make a series of vlogs that are spontaneous uh, for my YouTube channel. Uh, this was my first week of being an empty nester. I, yeah, I survived it. <laughs> so I was really sad at the beginning of the week. I was kind of mopey, feeling a bit sorry for myself and really missing my kids. But they called uh, or FaceTimed several times and, you know, helped settle me and messaged me and were telling me all the exciting things and yeah of course they did fine uh, but I was missing them a lot and we're we're really having to adjust to the changes it's just so quiet and different and yeah meal times are different laundry's different but I survived it and I kept really busy this week I am preparing for my online Selbu Mitten course, which is going to be phenomenal. I am so excited by the response and the engagement already. We haven't even started. Uh, everyone is picking out their patterns and ordering their wool and yeah, talking with each other about yeah, the different things they're preparing. Uh, next week I'll be making a video to help guide them uh, looking at their pattern and getting the yarn ready and we're gonna have a practice assignment It doesn't begin until September the 5th. So Yeah, if you're interested, there's still time to join. It's open reg registration throughout the weekend and there's there's gnats so um, Yeah, I've been sorting wool. I've been labeling my farm yarn. I've been, it was so amazing to put the labels on my farm yarn. And what else have I been doing? I've been doing a lot of knitting, finishing up a couple of designs. Uh, my uh, shepherd sock. My design collection has two socks in it. So Last night I cast on the second design, which I hope is going to go well. And I've got some amazing test knitters for the shepherd sock. My local sample knitters are busy with other projects that I have going on. So this is the first time I've asked test knitters to help me that aren't local. And I think that's going to be great. So... I worked on that. I've got a hat coming out. Uh, that is taking me longer this time because I'm just busy. I'm hoping people are going to be interested in my Berries on the Path hat that I just released. I know people have cast on, but I haven't seen uh, any projects yet. People haven't shared their projects yet, so... It's one of my favorite designs. I've been wearing it a lot. Today I had to uh, wear my old uh, shepherd sweater that I knit. I'm going to turn this sweater into uh, a design for my collection. This is a, a sweater that I have designed myself and it's coming into the collection but a bit later. So sweaters and making sure, you see I've worn this out. I love it so much. But garments, they take a bit longer because I want to be very inclusive with sizing and all of that. So yeah, I've got a lot of projects going on to keep me busy, to fill the mum gap, um, taking care of my kids. It is... Uh, exciting to think we're moving towards autumn. I'm really excited to move towards autumn. 
I um, love autumn and the colors and yeah. So I hope you're well. This is just a quick good morning from the forest. I'm thinking about updating a little bit more like a vlog, a true vlog, where there's not a lot of editing. And as a matter of fact, I probably won't do any editing in this vlog or anything like that. I just want it to be spontaneous and say hello. And I want to hear from you. Are you uh, surviving the heat if you're in the a North American region. Europe has had a heat wave. We haven't really experienced it. Uh, we had some really lovely warm days, but no, no sign of the heat wave that I know other countries are experiencing. So I like cool temperatures and wool year round if I can. Um, yeah, if I can. I also finished, I forgot to say, I also finished the socks for my son. I sent those in the post. It's going to be his first parcel, first mail uh, at his uh, place. And I finished a pair of selby mittens uh, for Emma. So those uh, mittens I made red and white as celebratory colors. She loves mittens. She loves socks too. She wants socks, but I've got to finish her pair of socks. I do have them on the needles. Um, what else is going on? Not much. I'm just, uh, I'm just so happy that my kids are settled and I'm holding up. It's a bit silly, isn't it, uh, to think? But I've been really sad and excited. And my son is so far away. It is really like 10 hours and that feels really far away. My sheep are right in front of me grazing and I have been trying to leave. Once you train the flock uh, to come into the mountain, you should be able to leave them for a while and that would give me an opportunity to go back and clean the barn and do the farm chores. Because what I struggle with is I have to move them to do all of the cleaning every day. So I move them down in the field and then I move them back up uh, in the evening and close up the barn. And I, I did have success with that a couple of days, but then they got wise. And now if I even tiptoe away, they start uh, coming after me. And they're very suspicious that I'm going to leave. So this is one of the characteristics of this breed of sheep. They uh, will not stay uh, on the mountain like other sheep. So Norwegian farmers and or, or sheep shepherds, they leave the sheep all summer in the mountain and they go check on them. Most of them wear bells and so forth so they can find them. But yeah, they they leave them. But good old Tundrasso will not stay in the forest. So I've managed it a couple of times. It was really fun. Uh, once they ran back to the farm, all of them together, and they don't like it. They don't like if I try to sneak away. Yeah, so they're very suspicious that I'm going to do it this morning, but I'm not. So um, I'm just going to sit here and we've climbed for a while. So that it's nice to sit and recover after you've uh, climbed up so high. But I'm going to sit and knit on a sock and just enjoy the morning. I'm going to take it a little bit easy today. I've been really busy uh, this week. So have a beautiful weekend if you happen to see this on the weekend. And I wish you relaxing a relaxing day and lots of making. And uh, yeah, let me know on Instagram what you're working on or how you're going. And take good care until I'm going to check in again in the forest. I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to make several spontaneous vlogs and let me know what you think. I could just be rambling on to myself in the telephone. <laughs> Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again soon.